$400 million has been committed by the federal and South Australian governments to redevelop two tram level crossings. At the moment, peak time commuters spend 20 minutes of each hour queued behind the boom gates. Monique Bonderhayden has the details. The Glenelg tram line, which runs from the popular seaside town to the CBD, will be closed for up to nine months for major redevelopment. The state and federal government have both contributed $200 million to the project that will see a tram overpass built over Marion Road and Cross Road. What we have here is about 50,000 cars a day with boom gates coming down about 20 minutes every hour during peak times. We're talking about two intersections, Cross Road and Marin Road, and of course Anzac Highway, which is a choke point for traffic in this area. The tram will continue to operate east of the Marion Road stop, while a new bus route will be introduced to transport commuters from the Glenelg to the city. Mr Kutzentona says the decision to close part of the tram line was made to avoid the further acquisition of residential homes. To keep the rail line open from Glenelg to the city, we have to require over 30 homes to rebuild the rail line either further um, uh, north or south of the current rail line. Three residential properties and seven businesses will be acquired during the upgrade, which will also see part of Marion Road widened to reduce congestion. Major work will start in mid-2024 and the line is expected to be reopened by the end of 2025. Having the boom gates down for 20 seconds out of every minute during peak hour is an absolute nightmare. It was also announced this week Adelaide train and tram operations will return to public ownership. Keolis Downer started operating and maintaining Adelaide Metro in 2021 in a 12-year deal. The Transport Minister is confident taxpayers will not be liable for the estimated $94 million contract termination fee. The future of the inland rail project through Queensland is in limbo this morning. A new report suggests construction approvals are so far behind there is no indication when the project could start. The Queensland government says it is committed to follow through on the next rail corridor despite revelations of the overall budget blowout of $30 billion. Cost blowouts and delays are being attributed to incorrect estimations provided by the Australian Rail Track Corporation during development stages. An independent cost estimator will now be tasked to update costs and scheduled planning for the project.